Hi, I'm Alice Deering and I'm a Team Jeepers. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I always do this. <laughs> This summer, I was the first black woman to represent Team GB in swimming at an Olympic Games. The feeling of just swimming fast and swimming well is just, um, yeah, it's something like I crave to get. From Birmingham, super multicultural, super diverse. With swimming, um, it wasn't as diverse. The water doesn't discriminate, the water doesn't know if you're black or white or brown. When you see a black swimmer, and, and then I suppose contrasted with seven other white swimmers, that's when you realise. I did have one incident with a coach when I was about 17 years old. He called me a racially derogatory word to another swimmer, he called me a skinny N word. Some people just got probably just got a bit too much hate in their heart or you know whatever that is his words his words are a reflection of him not of me that's how I've rationalized it it was one of those things where um, we didn't need to give it any power in our lives and I just like pushed it to the side and got on with me swimming few barriers which prevent black people from swimming. Um, one of the key ones that I found when speaking to black people who don't swim is the whole stereotype and myth around bone density and floating, which the Black Swimming Association and the RLNI are actually looking to completely debunk and you know categorically say once and for all this is an absolute lie. Another one, you know, financially, it is quite an expensive sport to do. So, you know, looking at ways of tackling that as well and giving opportunities to families who might not be able to afford swimming lessons. Another common one, especially for women, is hair. Um, you know, thick Afro-Caribbean hair has quite often been seen as something that you just can't swim with. There's so many amazing brands which are looking to, like, stop that from being an issue. Soul Cap is one of them. It's just a cap that's got a larger dome and it allows you to fit more hair in. So at the moment I've obviously got braids. We don't have just one swimming costume size. There's countless swimming costume sizes, but there's, only, there's always been one swimming cap size. It's really encouraging black people to embrace their hair, but also embrace swimming at the same time. I really want people to know that it's, it is for them, regardless of what you think it is for you and you can learn to swim, yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Amazing. I think that I think that worked. <laughs>